All right, guys. VLM here. Back. Another live stream. Uh, it's only been a day, but uh, I do feel like we got a good chunk uh, to talk about here. Obviously, uh, we got the uh, big blind side. But yeah, we're going to continue on with, uh, with God of War. Um, but yeah, big blind side. I can't believe uh, Brooke went home from uh, Real Love Boat. What a travesty. But really, um, I, I was actually genuinely shocked, I will say, with Survivor. <laughs> I, I really did not think Lindsay was going home. Uh, I really, really thought it was Geo. Um, so, yeah, and Amazing Race was really good, too. I, I thought Amazing This is probably the best episode of the season. Um, so, yeah, we got, we got two pretty solid episodes tonight. Uh, and then, again, Real Love Boat was Real Love Boat. <laughs> Did not watch the challenge, because we uh, though I did watch other challenge things today. Um, uh, yeah, God, I mean, the episode of Real Love Boat was really, uh, really fantastic. Yes. I, I really love knowing how many uh, times Elisa, that's her name, right, cheated on her significant other. That's that's a great thing to know. Um, I, I, had, I, I didn't really pay that much of attention, but I did see it on the background. Um, I do find it funny that they, like, literally added a guy, like, at the very last second and made him just, like, choose one of the girls, like, at the last second. It's like, what the fuck is this show? Um, but, uh, yeah, again, so, um, I watched The Genius Netherlands. That was the first thing I watched today. Uh, that was actually Stuck. decent. Uh, I feel like definitely improvement upon episode one. So at least there's that. Uh, then I watch the challenge episode zero, which uh, was such a waste of time. <laughs> um, it's such a pointless episode. Where really it was just like, it was essentially just the like, the like vets, the whatever, the people that are coming in late, having like a round table about the players. Like it's so fucking weird. Like what a weird, uh, like, I would not be surprised if that was like filmed like after the season or something dumb like that. Uh, but yeah, just really weird uh, that entire uh, episode. And then uh, I, so I was like, well, I'm already watching this. I might as well watch the uh, challenge documentary. Um, so I ended up watching all of that today. Mind you, I watched most of it in like two times speed. Um, uh, but I did watch that. And then obviously we got Survivor and uh, and Real Love Boat and Amazing Race. So uh, a lot. There was a lot uh, that I've watched today. So uh, yeah, sh shame that we lost uh, Rich and Dom. I think I really, again, like not fully unexpected considering like, wait, what am I doing here? I, I need to do this. Not completely unexpected considering like they didn't seem like that good of a team. But um, yeah, they were they were great characters, especially I mean obviously Dom in particular. Um, yeah, I thought there were like a lot of like little funny moments across this episode of Amazing Race. So we're, like, I think this is probably like one of my favorite like episodes of Amazing Race and like that I can think of in like recent history. Oh, and yeah, not that I'm like that much of an expert on Amazing Race to where like I would remember that well, but um, oh, I can switch, can I? Wait, how do you switch the? Oh, there we go. Um, I thought Sarah was good. Um. Was it, I don't know, was it the best episode of the season? Probably, uh, probably not. I don't know, it was good though. Uh, definitely blind, like the vote itself I was blindsided by. I, I did not expect Lindsay to go home. Um, I, I really thought the entire time, oh, this is just such a fucking easy Geo boot. Uh, they're trying to fake you out and the thinking Lindsay's going home, but obviously she's staying, and then all of a sudden she goes home. <laughs> so it's like, okay. Uh, again, Survivor US doesn't trick me that much, but it did today, so good on them. Um, where did I throw this? But, uh, yeah, again, uh, like, really, this, like, disastrous episode for Lindsay. Like, it seems like it's a situation where she, like, entirely did it to herself. Um, so it might be one of, the, like, the biggest, like, like, uh, self-destructions in the history of the show, maybe. Uh, 
where like it's again like we don't know what actually happened but based on like what we saw it does seem like like she was definitely not in danger at all until she started to get really paranoid but Uh, but yeah, I, I was expecting Lindsay to have a good run. I thought she had, like, some decent content episode one. Like, while her content, like, since then has been kind of, like, it's definitely been waning. Like, I thought episode one, like, it felt like she was getting set up to, to being a big player. And then, no, she, she just isn't. Um, I'm too fair. It's like, it technically still fits within her storyline. It's just that I was expecting that storyline to be one that, like, lasted uh, through at least the merge. Well, again, the fact that like it ends in episode four uh, is definitely unexpected. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Whatever. Uh, I think, yeah, as of right now, I do. I think Lindsay's last on the player ranking. I guess she was voted out the first opportunity. Um, she's like, I think out of the people booted so far, which I mean, at this point, everyone's gone to tribal. Um, I guess, like, the only person that could be worse is Gabler, considering he... But then, like, even then, like, he... At least he faked people out with the Shaun of Dark 2 degree. I don't know how purposeful that was, but... Still, um... But, yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, Lindsay's gonna be at the bottom. Uh, and, like, it's still not entirely bad, considering she, like, seemed to be in the majority initially. Um, but then, like, obviously she does it all to herself. And, like, in comparison to everyone else that was... Uh, that's been on the season so far. It's like I got like I had Justine at the bottom so far. It's like I feel like this is worse than Justine. Where like Justine gets like kind of unlucky of like Dwight losing a vote and like all that stuff. So it's like um, this is essentially Justine, but like worse. <laughs> so yeah. Did you be the can season ranking? Uh, that was like one of my first videos. But yeah, I got, I'll redo it soon. Well, not soon. What is that? A year and a half from now? I can hold it. Stop. Is the plan? Uh, Jesse got two confessionals, I believe. Uh, Owen and Janine, I think, are the only two to not get any confessionals this episode. Broken quiver will slow your draw. Uh, but yeah, Owen. Oh no, Owen. Uh, Jesse got a confessional. We do not. Uh, when was that? It was talking about Cody then, right? Yeah, because he talked about how he agreed with Cody to uh, take away the machete, but then says, oh, but I got to like, make nice to people and that sort of thing. Oh. Uh, I know that was one of them. I don't remember what the other one was, but I did remember he got two confessionals. Boy. Thoughts on Emily and Molly? I really like them. I will say, like, after, like, uh, like, they're, like, realistically, they're kind of boring. Like, they're not super interesting, necessarily. But, I don't know, for just for some reason, I kind of find them likable, even though they're not, like, that interesting. <laughs> um... It's like not even their storyline or whatever. It's like again, that's not something I personally care about that much. But I don't know. I, I think like they're much better racers than I thought they would be. Uh, so again, I think they'll be fun if they were to do well. I I will say I don't know where this edit is going. I I'm at the I'm at the point where I'm like I'm just like completely perplexed um, by it because like to me it's like obviously Carla is the clear front runner. Like Carla is like the number one by a lot the problem is that that hasn't been like the style of editing that survivors use for a while uh i mean with the exception of tommy and again that was like more so because of dan spilo stuff uh like i i i, I don't think carla's win like i think carla is like kind of like the omer of the season like that's kind of what i'm thinking is that again her edit is like pretty much perfect uh, like, there's very little, like, holes to have with Carla's edit. Um, because, like, even the holes that I did have, they rectified in the last episode. Uh, with her, like, uh, with it being, like, her development of her, uh, learning to take the risk and everything. Uh, but it's like, again, I just don't feel like that's the way that Survivor edits their show anymore. Like, I don't feel like they would make it this obvious. That Carla's winning. Uh, like I, I think this is a Omer situation of probably someone making a deep run, going to be a big player, but probably going to be like the, uh, like going to be the big move for the eventual winner. I think that's probably what we're looking at with Carla. Um, and then what was it? Jesse and is another one that has like a pretty good edit. It's just again like his premiere is a bit iffy. 
to where it is a bit untraditional. To where, like, even in the modern era, usually the winner is introduced within the first, uh, like, within the opening scene, like, before they go to go to uh, their camps. However, Jesse wasn't, and that does feel weird. But outside of that, he's had a near-perfect edit. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm getting to. I I think it's Cody or Cassidy. It, or or it could be Sammy still. But I think those are probably my three like genuine picks right now. Like it, on my like on my power ranking, I have Carla one, Jesse two. But like I there's something off about them. Um to where oh, I feel like it's gonna be like the thing is like I think Cody is getting like kind of like a, a Marianne esque edit to a degree. To where, like, he's such a, like, a big character, a larger-in-life character, yet they're still giving him complexity, despite that. Um, I will say he's also probably getting a lot more negativity than Marianne did. Not necessarily negativity in terms of, like, 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 villain, well, I mean, I guess he is villain, but, like, more so, like, negativity in the sense that he's being undermined at points. Um, but, like, it does kind of feel, like, Marianne-esque. Um, and I have the answer to your everything. Then, uh, what was it? Again, Sammy, I've been, like, relatively high on for the last, like, couple episodes. Uh, again, this episode doesn't really change anything. He was barely there, but it's not really, like, enough to, like, to merit him either. Um, but I, I will say, actually, something I've been thinking about with Sammy, something I did see someone post on Reddit, um, in, I don't remember where anymore, but it's, like, someone posted, like, could Sammy be getting, like, the Brad Culpepper, the, like, Ken McNichol, like, that sort of edit. Like, the edit of, like, because, like, in Mike Turner had this last season. Uh, but, like, this has been, like, a thing in recent Survivor, like, ever since the Lancers Gen X, of the uh, runner-up of the season, or, like, someone that makes it to Final Tribal and doesn't win the game. Um, like, that person's usually been getting, like, a very strong, like, pre-merge edit that just goes downhill uh, after the merge. Uh, and I feel like if it's anybody on this season, I feel like Sammy kind of makes sense for that. So I'm kind of thinking, like, maybe that's Sammy's trajectory. Like, maybe he's, like, a finalist that loses. And, like, that's why he's getting, like, the, this, like, content here of, like, him being proven right constantly. And it's just going to, like, eventually, like, he's actually going to be, like, uh, pretty bad by the end of it. I don't know. But today, the winds of fate have kicked Game audio's game. loud? Okay, let's change it up. Uh, but, um... Oh, like, I, I, I still think Sammy's a contender. And, yeah, like, Cassidy, I'm... I don't necessarily see it, but it's more so, like, there's not many other options. And I feel like, like, out of the like options this, that are there, it's like, she seems more realistic than, like, James at this point. Where, again, like, I was really high on James after the premiere. I, I thought he was, I, I had him number one after the premiere, but it's like, it just feels like he's getting nothing. And, like, he obviously got stuff this episode, but it's like, it still didn't feel like anything of substance. It didn't feel like anything that was, like, that was, like, didn't need to be there. Um, and also, I feel like, considering the fact that he takes out Lindsay, who was propped up in episode one to be, like, his alliance, and, like, he gets very little content in that, um, I feel like that's not a good sign for James. Yeah, and also, yeah, I'm failing to rail in, uh, Lindsay as well. Like, I, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of underwhelmed with, uh, James here, where I really thought after the premiere, I thought he could be, a like, a true contender, but, I don't know, not looking likely right now. He tortures me, you know. So, yeah, again, like, I... Every day, brother. Uh, oh, yeah, and I, Noelle's kind of gone up. Uh, not to where, like, I think she's, like, a very no likely winner, to to but she's definitely in the conversation. Every uh, Dwight's kind of the same. Yes. What else is there? I will say, I am getting the sense that, like, I think Vessi might be the, like, the winning tribe. Like, I, I, or at least the tribe that you're supposed to be, like, Mother. like, essentially the complex tribe, essentially. Um, because, like, Baka just seems like a complete train wreck to where, like, Why? everyone hates each other. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And then, what was the other one? On, um, uh, Coco, obviously. Like, Coco is just extremely underdeveloped outside of Carla. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm thinking, like, Again, Vessi feels like the complex tribe. If we are gonna like still do complex tribe, 
Uh, I don't know. Are they going to justify their Erica edit by giving us a male Erica? I don't think so. Maybe mm. because I don't think they care. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, the remain calm, the build trust. That was a good line. Uh, that was a tribal, though, right? Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. Uh, what's the deal with Ryan and Geo? They even vote together. Yeah, that's also that's bad for both. I'm mean, like Geo already like had a really like bad edit this episode anyway. But um, yeah, I, I think like that's probably sealing the deal for me with Ryan. So, like the fact that he didn't get like they didn't bother to even show his perspective in anything. Uh, in a point where like what I'm thinking is that I think Geo was just left out of it. But again, the fact that they included uh, Ryan in on the plan when they didn't really need to, and like he gets no explanation to why he's going along with it or anything, I think that's a bad sign for Ryan. How do you go back down? Do I should have climbed back down? I don't remember. Or do you... Wait. Actually, I don't remember. Whatever. Um, Bessie getting the Yasa uh, underdog tribe content? Uh, that could potentially be it, too. That it could just be like them trying to fake you out to a degree, but then, then again, like I also feel like it's a lot. They're a lot less like unified than uh, Yasa to a degree. I'm mean, to a degree. Yeah, I guess like Yasa did have a lot of fractures. The they had spent a lot of time house. setting that up. The woods with the blood red leaves. But yeah, I could also see it being like a Taku sort of situation though. Hope she made it back Lindsay's placement on the player rank. Yeah, I said I already said that. She's at the bottom. You seem nice. Which, yeah, if you told me that coming into this episode, I definitely would not have expected that. <laughs> um, I, I can't, like, I legitimately can't believe, like, how, like, quick that downfall was. Um, Ryan did vote uh, against Linz. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know where Ryan's at. That's the thing. Is that, like, was he, like, just lumped into this at the last second? But it's, like, also, like, again, they didn't need his vote. It could have been a 3-2-1. Yes. Like, in a position where they knew that the other votes weren't coming together. Like, they knew Ryan and Lindsay weren't coming together, so they didn't need Ryan's vote. So, like, Ryan, like, you would assume Ryan's involved to a degree, but they didn't show any of that. Do I think Shriek will quit eventually? Probably not. I think if she were to quit, she would quit this episode. This is taking a while to load. You think it would load quicker on PS5? My kind. Or is it because you have to actually like listen to him? That's probably it, and I'm not doing that. But whatever. Um, Shriek has flow and slash Brook potential. Uh, yeah, which is fine because like she's with her dad, which is like kind of a different dynamic for that. Doesn't Gabler's longevity? I don't know. Like, I mean, I could see him like being the next boot if they go to tribal. Actually, I think he has the idol still. Fuck, he's probably made the merge then, right? <laughs> I didn't even think about that until now. Yeah, he's probably made the merge. So, we'll see how that goes, I guess. He's gained a downfall for Mason 34. I, I don't know. Who's at the bottom again? Well, I mean, I guess it's Linton and Shriek. Uh, will they just go home? I hope not. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Again, I did play the... So, yeah, I streamed until, like, what, 2.30 something? 2.30, 3 o'clock last night? And then I played, a, like, an hour and a half or so of the quarry. Uh, so I did start that. Uh, interesting that Cassie... Uh, yeah, like, Cassie... I assume this is a thing of, like, yeah, I think it was mostly Carla and James... That kind of agreed upon it, and then they brought in Cassidy at the last second. That's why I'm assuming. Uh, I have. I think I actually bumped up Cassidy all the way to three. Behind Carla and Jesse. Which is more so because, like, I feel like there's, like, less negatives. It's not necessarily, like... Because, like, realistically, I would actually have more faith in Cody winning... Right now, than Cassidy, but I feel like there's like blatant things you can call out with Cody of like what's wrong with his edit. Well, like with Cassidy's, it's like 
outside of like low visibility, which like even that's like not necessarily entirely bad. Um, like her content's not necessarily like bad. Like, I feel like there's like less like outright negatives to call out. Yeah, Cody's at. I think Cody's at four, maybe five. All right, let's open it up. I don't remember anymore. Come on, there we go. Uh, no, actually, I have Cody at five. I had Sammy at four. Cody five. Noel six. Owen seven. Dwight eight. James nine. Ryan ten. Ellie eleven. Gabler 12, Janine 13, Geo 14 is the current I ranking. Could have gone on a trip like this with mother. Do you think Coco will be pagonged? Probably not. Yes. She fought. Uh, I, I think it would be. Like, I think they might lose out the merge vote if like the dynamics stay the same, but I don't think they'll just straight up get pagonged. I feel like that's. Kind of a rare feat in modern Survivor to have like a true pagonging. Or like even like a pagonging lasting like two to three rounds. Like I could see like we merge and then like Ryan is the merge boot and then like maybe like, I don't know, James is the second boot after the merge. And then after that they like flip the game and things happen. No, I don't think Geo split. I, like the sense that I got and like seeing the reaction from Geo after the vote, I think he was just left on the outs. Uh, it would have been in his best interest to split the vote, though, but I don't think that was, like, his intention. What kind of story? Thoughts on Genius Netherlands uh, episode? I thought it was pretty good. I mean, it was not, it's still not to the level of, like, the OG show, but uh, it definitely is an improvement upon last episode. It's like they're actually doing, like, genius things now. The thing is, like, it's so much to the point where it feels like, it just feels like a worse version of it, but, like, they, like, added their version of Garnet's, they have their, um, they have the, like, flash forwards and stuff. They even used, like, the same music, which was interesting. Um, so again, they're, they're, it's more similar to the OG show, but still, uh, again, not as good. I feel like the cast is kind of my issue. Um, not really, like, necessarily the cast is bad. I just feel like we're not being, like, shown the cast that well. Like, the uh, the group that's with Nizar, who is, like, the boot from this episode, I don't know who the fuck those two people are. Uh... Like, I feel like they've, like, literally haven't gotten any content across this, uh, season so far. Geo makes for a perfect merge boot. Um... In what way? I mean, I guess like a decoy sort of thing of like trying to avoid an idol and that sort of stuff. In terms of edit, like, could. Really, actually, I feel like Ryan. Uh, who has like the merge boot edit? Because again, like merge boot is typically someone that's a bit more present. Um, but like still not like. I mean, like, yeah, like you have someone like a, like a Chris Noble, <laughs> maybe, like, uh, an example there. Sydney was like an example of like a typical merge boot edit. Um, then like Lydia wasn't like your standard merge boot, but um, now I, I feel like Ryan actually kind of fits. Noel could be Noel too. Yeah, actually, Noel, Noel would fit. Um, let's see, so, yeah, Cody, Jesse, Dwight. Dwight could also maybe fit. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, no, I think Noel and Ryan would probably be my top two. Yeah, G Gio would also be fine, though, too. Uh, this is pretty much reminding me of the Uh, not really. I mean, like, obviously, like, I, I am assuming you mean by, like, um, actually, no, I, I guess not. I was gonna say, but, like, all the women going home, but I guess, like, Melissa Jackson technically had, like, Paul Walker going home, uh, early. But, yeah, this is four women in a row, which is, uh, there he is. which I think I saw that it's, like, it's only two other seasons have had four women in a row go home first, which is, like, Gabon and Panama, and that if, the, if next boot is a, is a woman as well, then it would break the record. Uh, which is kind of insane. 
But, um, yeah, not, it's, it's weird because, like, I felt like coming into this, the cast for the women seems sh way stronger than the men. Uh, yeah, we're at the point now where, like, most of the, uh, or, like, almost half the women are gone and no guy is left. Which I, I think is, like, I think it's mostly a consequence of Three Tribes. And, like, because that, like, this, like, assumes, like, need of, like, physical strength sort of thing. But, um, I, I mean, I think the Lindsay one, like, that's entirely on Lindsay, though. <laughs> um, but, because, like, I mean, it, it more than likely would have been Geo had it not been for that. It's like, that obviously, like, kind of changes up things, but... So, like, the Mariah vote, the... Well, at least the Mariah and the Neka votes, I think, are both, like, kind of examples of that. Justine's kind of a bit, like stranger. I think that's like more so on her. How far do I see Gabler going? I mean like could like I, I could see Gabler being a goat. Like that's definitely not out of the round possibility. And again like it seems like he's pretty much guaranteed merge at this point, right? As long as he like plays his uh idol. Then again, we didn't get double boot, so I guess like it's probably gonna be an extra episode before the merge, right? Because I was thinking like last time the merge was at, or last two seasons the merge has been episode six, but I guess that's not necessarily the case this season because there's no double boot. Um, but still, I mean like I, I think Gabler's very likely to make merge. Like I, I like it would need Baka would need to go tribal twice for him to not make merge, which I I don't really see happening. Wait. I don't know, like, I, I don't really see, like, I, I think Vessi might avoid Tribal at this point. Like, I feel like, by the way, that Vessi's being edited, I think they're kind of getting this, like, Taco, ta ta Taku, there we go, uh, style, like, trajectory. You find any more, you destroy so, like, maybe it's, like, Coco and Baco go to Tribal the rest understand? of the way. Then again, there's probably Say only, like, two Tribals at most until they merge. If I see them, I'll destroy them. <laughs> You watch That's Brad, uh, so this guy would be perfect if he played more Please weak and goatish, yeah. In their place. I have no need for them anymore. I mean, it's funny to me because, like, Gabler, like, probably would have been voted out, uh, <sighs> by this point if he didn't have the idol and also if his tribe was What's just going to tribal head? more. Uh, I didn't watch the Ride or Die premiere yet. I know what happens. Like, I, yeah, I'm spoiled on the season. Do you have any idea um, who but, this uh, is? Did you kill him? Yeah, I didn't watch the actual premiere. At his request. Um, yeah, disappointed uh, at the first boots. Me. Really wanted uh, sure Kayla about? to go. Uh, Kayla and Sam to go further, but. Take him to the table. Again, haven't Kayla. watched it though. It's been a long time since I. Lindsay's ex is similar to Matt Dyson. Dyson. That's probably a decent comparison. I think the I think the difference is that like well, Lindsay seemed to actually be in a good position, where like Matt was never in a good position. It's just that he wasn't like gonna be the boot. <laughs> so it's like I feel like Lindsay's is actually like worse, as like Lindsay like seemed to be like again in the majority like four person alliance, and then like got herself kicked out of it. Where like Matt Dyson was like always on the outs. It's just that he was probably like like number nine or ten on the pecking order instead of number twelve. But, like, made himself number 12. So, it's like, it's still bad. But, like, I, I feel like Lindsay's is actually worse. That's enough. His voice is, uh, since All-Stars annoys you. I mean, like, I feel like Kayla's voice, like, has always been moderately annoying. It works. <laughs> but, um... Let me see him. But, still. I like, I think Kayla, like, just in general, like, has never been, like, Lemire? the most likable Lemire? person in the world. Yes. But, um, in comparison to a lot of the rest oh. of this cast, I feel like I wanted Kayla to make it further. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, challenge premiere is fine at the grace of the recent premieres. Um, forgive me. So, sure, so Casey gets taken out, right? Like they showed. It, I, again, from what I understand, they showed Casey and Kenny getting taken out, but like did not decide to show Anissa and Simon because obviously they're like making it as if like Anissa is coming in as a twist later on when she was actually on the cast initially. Um, so, that, they ended the episode of Bananas and Nani coming in, right? Which I'm actually su kind of surprised. Like, I, I knew that, like, the spoilers had, like, Bananas and Nani coming in before the other ones. But uh, based on, like, the fact that, like, we had this, like, round table uh, in episode zero and, like, all that stuff, I was assuming that, uh, okay, they're just all going to come in at once. 
You're but I guess they're not doing that. It was even on like one of the real world. Yeah, I never watched her real world season. Why did you do that? We canceled if that was here today. I feel like that's like almost everyone in real world though. But yeah. Nothing, boy. But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge. I mean, uh. When I require your counsel, head, I will ask. Might be disappointed about the Casey. <laughs> Get me to uh, Temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as Yeah, and so, yeah, so, like, Olivia and Horatio and Nam and Emmy were supposed to be replacements, which is, like, weird, because, like, what, like, because obviously it's replacements for Anise and Simon, too. Like, they're replacing two teams, but, like, they're acting as if it only replaced Casey and Kenny. Um, it's like, why are they only, like, why are they replacing two teams for one team? And, like, obviously, we know the answer from, like, the spoiler stuff, but it, it's funny that they're, like, not showing that. Um, Brad or Lindsay, better player? I would have more faith in Lindsay. But, like, based on the game that they played, Brad. Most likely boot from each tribe. Mm, again, Vessi, I still think probably Noel. Or maybe Dwight. Just because, yeah, I feel like edit-wise, like, I feel like Cody and Jesse seem to have longevity. Where, like, I don't necessarily see that for Noel and Dwight, to where, like, they're guaranteed longevity. So, like, I feel like more than likely you're gonna, they're going to lose out in the battle if they do go to Tribal. But at this point, I don't think they're going to Tribal. He claims nothing harms him. But, I don't know, I think logically it probably makes sense for, like... Probably Noel, but again, they are also setting up this like Dwight Cody rivalry quite a bit, so maybe it would be Dwight. You just said that, Namir. Did I? But um, Coco, it's probably just Geo, right? Did they go to tribal again? Like it's probably just they just vote out the person they were going to vote out this time. Um, or I mean, like at that point, Carla is like at this point, Carla is essentially the true swing vote, right? Because like, you have Geo and Ryan on one side, and you have like not even necessarily James and Cassidy, because it seems like James is more with Carla, but it does seem like they're kind of in the middle. So like, it's probably Cassidy or Geo, I would guess. Uh, and then for Baca, it's like it's probably Janine, right? Like edit wise, I would say Janine, in the sense that like. Again, like, I've always felt like Ellie, like, felt like the the Shan figure. Like, not getting the Shan edit. I think that's something to distinguish. But I, I feel like she's going to be, like, an early, like, early-ish merge boot that gets propped up as a big move. Kind of, like, high. Like, that sort of thing. Um, and, like, they're, like, setting up this, like, uh, rivalry between her and Gabler and her and Sammy. Um... So, like, I feel like it would make more sense. And then we see, did see Janine in the next time on be at uh, the XL Island thing, that whatever we're going to call it. Uh, so I would not be surprised if, like, she gets an advantage there and they vote her out because of that or something. Or, like, they suspect she has advantage and that's why they vote for her. Good. Um, my lips to the horn. Too fair, though, actually. You would actually think it would probably be the opposite. They would avoid voting for her because she has the advantage. But I don't know. Again, I just feel like it makes more sense for Janine to go home in the pre-merge than for Ellie. Yeah, I've heard a lot of names for it. But, uh, I don't, know, I don't like, uh, Risky Rock. I, I mean, Richard and Dom are great. At this point, to lose them. Um, and they, they're not good racers. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I thought they were, like, they're probably the best casting choice on this season. Which makes it such a shame that we lost them so early. But I think Noel could be getting the Nick Wilson treatment. Protected early on because, because on the bottom. Was Nick protected? Our only concern is your night. And that's like the biggest issue with Nick's edit is that people were saying that he can't win because of how undermined he was early on. Alright, wish me luck. But either way, not, like, I don't think Noel's winning, but it's looking more likely now than what it was. Okay, that's actually kind of loud for me at least. Um, Nam and Emmy got nothing in the episode outside of their opening statement. Uh, that's, that's, yeah, that sounds about right. 
Um, yeah, he says they're stuck together like fucking glue. Again, I, I did see that. Um, it is so loud. Okay, do I need to turn this down? Like, I feel like we weren't having that many issues last stream. Um, there was an episode zero. Uh, I did watch it today, and it's nothing. It's not like the traditional episode zero, where like the last few seasons, episode zero has like legitimately been like an episode zero, of them like going into the house, and it's been like actually like part of the season. This time, it was literally just like a round table with bananas, um, bananas, Nani, Anissa, Jordan, and Darrell, Veronica. And them like going through the cast and talking about them, and then as they talk about them, it like cuts to like the intro package of them. And it's so fucking weird. Like it felt very um, Big Brother clip show. E. Uh, it was so fucking weird. Like, because like you had like they were like essentially using Anissa as this person that like knew who everyone was, and like they go to like Colleen and Kim, and like she knows like oh yeah Colleen was the mole in the mole Germany. It's like how the fuck do you know that? Who the fuck knows that? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, like a hundred percent, she was told to say that, right? There's no fucking way Anissa knows who the fuck uh, Colleen is from the mole Germany. Same thing goes with Kim. Oh, he was on a dating show. It's like, sure, I guess. Um, why was Casey and Kenny taken out of the game? COVID. Wait, look. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the already, like, the official. Earth. Like, that's known stars. even without spoilers. Because I, I think there was an article posted already I saw. Find me a boat, and we'll go that Casey has already done an interview saying she was taken out due to COVID. Yeah, three hours ago. That mission was that short. Everyone knows the Mold Germany is Anissa's favorite show, obviously. I mean, uh, who doesn't watch the Mold Germany? I mean. But again, it's so funny, though. They're, they're like pretending, like, as if people know who the fuck the, uh, these people are. Upcoming video um, was a merge episode ranking is on Saturday. Uh, and then no one cares about the next Wednesday video, so. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I think it's my AC3 retrospective. It's one of the Assassin's Creed videos. Yeah, it has to be AC3 then. Because I have two Assassin's Creed Wednesday videos in a row. Which way to the it's AC3 and an AC3 Liberation. Um, but again, got a couple bigger Survivor videos coming up. Because this Saturday is the merge episode ranking. Next Saturday is the luckiest moment for every survivor winner, and then the Saturday after that's the midseason power ranking. Uh, or at least that's the currently like that's my assumption. Um, so that's why I kind of felt fine like having these like like not as good Wednesday videos. No, too fair. I don't expect the merge video to do well at all, but we'll see, I guess. Oh, yeah, I did, I did watch the Kingdom Hearts pilot. Um, that was fucking weird. Like, obviously, it wasn't, like, fully animated or anything, but, uh... Ow. Good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. It's kind of weird to watch. Oh, yeah, there's enemies here, right? This Tales of Mermaid have a happy ending? Um, not particularly. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can write. I mean, like, it matters what you consider happy, I guess. It's like... Okay, what the fuck is going on, game? Can you, like, let me hit him? Whatever. Um, but probably not a traditional happy ending. Um, we we'll eventually went to full production. Yeah, I mean, like, was that gonna be like all the first episode? Like, that feels like a lot for just like the first episode. Um, and like, even then, it's only like what was it, eleven minutes or something? So it's not even like a full episode's length. Like, I'm assuming like if it was like actually fully made, it would have been longer. Like, they would have like stretched it out to be a full episode. But still, it's like, oh, that felt like they covered a lot in like a very short time frame. It's like, what would the rest of the like? 
What would the rest of the show be, I guess? Like, would they just be going to, like, different worlds every episode? Is that what it is? I did okay. yeah. uh, the best you make the right move? I mean, I think that's... We're not really going to know the solid answer. I mean, I think, like, it's one that, like, has pros and cons. Uh, I think it obviously boosts their relationship with Baka to where if they come into the merge, it's more likely they're going to be working with them, but it's also going to create hostility with... Uh, with Coco, so it's like, again, it was a giant don't really know just fun. yet. A very giant. Yeah, I did see uh, Blake Shelton's qu uh, quitting The Voice. What travesty. I don't think I can watch The Voice anymore. Oh, yeah, I did find out. Yeah, that was a funny thing, too, about Jordan and Nisa. Of, like, it seemed like even, like, production was like, yeah, why the fuck do we have Jordan and Nisa together? And then, like, they couldn't even come up with, like, an actual answer. <laughs> and they showed, like, the clip of them, like, having this, like, dumb bickering in, in Rivals 2. Uh, and, like, portraying it as if it's, like, straight, as if, like, yeah, they're, like, uh, he actually said, like, I love you, Anissa, or whatever, like, as if he was being serious. Uh, and then they also say, oh, yeah, I mean, he's part of my life. He was my ex's fiance. I, my, he, I mean, his ex was... His, oh, yeah, his ex fiance is my best friend. Fuck me. Uh, but, like, it's like, why, why does that make him your ride or die? <laughs> like, is your ride or die because your best friend was his ex? Like, that makes no fucking sense, but okay. Um, yeah, that, that, that's the thing that happens. Is Gabler dead? I mean, like, edit why Like, in terms of winning the game? Yes. I mean, he's... I think he's been technically dead for a while. But, um... Yeah, I mean, this... Like, I thought last episode was, like, a decent episode for him. But, again, we go back to another, like, really bad episode. So, it's like, yeah. Not looking good. Run up in last season American Idol dying in a car crash? That's depressing. Um... But, yeah, I don't even know who that would even be, though. Edit comparisons, Carla and Tommy. Um, oh, we're just like comparing them to like former winners. I wouldn't think Carla's like a Tommy winner at it. Um, like, I would say she's probably more like. Maybe like a Cochrane? Because like it has like development in it. Like, it's not like Tommy is just, like, fucking boring as, like, like, it's just baseline the entire time. Um, like, she's technically developed since she started. Mm, yeah, I mean, obviously the Dan... The merge episode for 39 is low. I would say it's not at the very bottom, though. Oh, um, Thanks. His idea. What happened to the survivors? Mainly because I do think, like, even though, like, obviously has the massive taint of the dance stuff, I do think there's, like, good content there when the dance stuff isn't happening. Um, in comparison to, like, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, again, I haven't watched the video in forever, so it's like, I don't even fully know what's the actual ranking is, but, um, I'm pretty sure Thailand's at the bottom. And, like, I feel like it would be tough to not... Like, Thailand is just, like, a straight-up, like, one of the most boring episodes you could watch. Um, because it's not even a proper merge episode. Like, the proper merge episode's technically the fake merge. Um, but, obviously, it's not the official merge. So, like, I include the Ken boot, which is, like, there's, like, nothing going on in that episode outside of the family that... Or not even family that's the videos from home. Uh, yeah, I won't be watching Ride or Die on Wednesday. Uh, because again, I, I don't have access to MTV right now anyway. Um, and like, considering it's on at the same time as Survivor and everything, I'm just not gonna fucking bother. Like, if it was on at 9, then like, yeah, maybe I would go and try to find like a live stream and watch it, but it's on at the same time as Survivor. I'm not gonna fucking bother, like, going out of my way to try to watch both at the same time. I'm just not gonna do that. <laughs> Uh, so, again, I don't get why the fuck they're doing that. Like, I don't know why they've always done this. Like, why, why did they put the challenge on at the same time as Survivor? When they're oaf owned by the same company? Like, they're both owned by Paramount. And they both know they're, like, the two biggest reality shows for their, 
um, for the individual channels. So why are we putting them on at the same fucking time? Uh, it's so fucking stupid. Like, it's like it makes sense if this was like NBC that owned the challenge or something. But it's fucking the same company. Um, so I don't know. It's, it's really dumb the way they uh, schedule it, but whatever. Favorite uh, non social strategy, non American Ninja Warrior Sasuke reality show? I mean, I guess Amazing Race at that point, right? I mean, I, well, I mean, well, you know, you said. Oh, no, you didn't say America. Okay, so, I mean, it would be the genius then. But then, I guess, like, the genius has, like, social strategy aspects to it. It's like, I mean, like, would you consider the challenge a social strategy game? I think is the, the question. Because I guess at that point, like, you would consider the genius a social strategy game. Because it has, like, similar social strategy elements to it. Um, but, like, at the end of the day, it's like, the actual eliminations aren't based around social strategy. So it's like, oh. Because, like, when I think of social strategy, I think of, like, obviously, like, Survivor Big Brother, where, like, the actual eliminations and stuff are based around social strategy. Where, like, you have the challenge and uh, the genius, which I think are more so shows that have social strategy elements uh, outside of actually being, like, social strategy games. Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is I don't, I, I'm at the point where I think Carla is more of the Omer of the season. Boy. Like, I, I think Carla's probably, like, the boot in the final episode before the finale that gets propped up as the big move for the eventual winner. Um, so, really, actually, I, like, your interpretation of Jesse, I think that's my interpretation of Carla. I don't really even know where Jesse's going. Um, because, yeah, I'm expecting, like, yeah, like, Ellie, to me, feels like final eight, final nine sort of boot. Um, Carla would make her, like, a final five, final six boot. Like, I don't know where Jesse fits into all that. I don't know if he's, like, maybe, like, Final Seven or something. Like, somewhere just in, I guess, like, maybe a Drea-style spot. I don't know. But, yeah, it's more so high on them just because, like, they have, like, they have the content. Even though it's, like, not, it's, like, because, like, it's more so, like, proof-based. They feel like the top contenders. But I don't feel like they're the top contenders because I don't feel like that's how they would portray the show. It's for them to be the actual eventual winners. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the gen that's why I've said this uh, for a while. Yeah, Genius and uh, the Challenge are essentially the same, like, game. It's just that the, like, challenges that are used to determine, like, who goes into elimination and the actual eliminations themselves are different where the challenge is more physical challenges while the genius is obviously like so like uh strategy based games but like the actual functionality of the game is very similar to where you have a challenge through that challenge you get um someone gets immunity you also have the loser go instantly into elimination the winner gets the pick um um oh actually i guess with the genius it's the death match person that picked either way but like you have a social strategy element that determines who goes into elimination with the um with the person going into the death match to begin with and then you have a challenge to determine who goes home uh, i did not watch the trailer for megan i don't even know what that is was it like a chucky ripoff do i think it'll be cassie who slits uh carlos throat I mean, that's kind of why I'm, like, higher on Cassidy now. Because, yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of, like, what I'm potentially seeing. If this is a Cassidy oh, win, I think that's what the story is. Is that Cassidy is the one to eventually take out Carla. But I, I don't know how much I still fully buy into that being the thing. Yeah, also, that, actually, that is interesting. I didn't think about that until now. They did set up, like, a Carla-Cody thing, didn't they? Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to follow where that goes. Can be invisible? Cassidy, I mean, like, Cassidy's would be, like... It'd probably be Michelle Fitzgerald E? Like, not entirely. It, it's, like, kind of a mix of Erica and Michelle Fitzgerald. Where I think Premiere, you could say, like, probably a little bit more Erica-ish. Well, I think, like, since then, she's been, like, more present uh, than Erica. 
Brock was asking about. To where like I think at that point it's more so like Michelle Fitzgerald, where like she's getting content when like why is she getting content? But even then that content has like less substance, I feel like, to it than Michelle's did, so uh. you let him touch this again. Episode one, the genius is very game body. I don't necessarily agree with that. I mean it, it is, but I think there's like still a lot of like character moments. I mean we're talking about like the OG show. If you are then I I think because like, at that point you still have like the uh Sung Yu being uh portrayed as like kind of a doofus and everything. And you have like Jin Ho and his like like how his idiocy. <laughs> um no. I, I feel like you have like enough like character stuff there to where uh uh, it doesn't feel like super, super game body to me. I will say though, like, I do feel like the genius, um, like the way that I feel about the genius Netherlands, I think would be, it'd be interesting to rewatch the genius Netherlands, I think is what I'm trying to say. Um, because I do feel like, like the complaints that I have with the genius Netherlands now, like are probably complaints that I had with the OG show when I first watched it. Though obviously through rewatches, I've like understood the show more. Um, oh, do I already have a stone? Oh, okay. Well, I guess I won't do that. Um, I really should upgrade equipment. I'm just too fucking lazy to do it in this playthrough. Um, Can you guess it? But also, I, I just think, like, generally, though, I mean, the OG show is better than the Netherlands version either way, but... Um, and, like, I feel like a lot of, like, as much as I did like Episode 2 here, a lot of it did feel like... Um, it kind of just trying to mimic the OG show instead of having like an identity of its own. I happen to think he looks dashing. You know. Do I like South Park? Not really. Like I've never watched the sh like I've only watched like a few episodes of the show. Like I don't necessarily dislike it, but I've just not really watched much of it. Where am I going? Wait, where am I going? Um. Is there still something I just shoot down? Oh, okay, it's this. Okay, well, that's not what I meant to do. Cool. Uh, yeah, Amazing Race AU video came out today. Did not do well at all. <laughs> but, who, again, don't really care that much. But, uh, yeah, it's doing even worse than the Kanda one. The Kanda one did shit. So, uh, yeah. That's something. Yeah. Wasn't planning on covering like AU and Canada extensively yeah, moving forward place. anyway, but I think this like further solidifies that's really just not worth it. Uh, thoughts on Justine? I didn't even know she, like she uh, uh, she had that. You feel like Justine got booed for no reason? I don't agree. She got voted out for no reason. Kellyanne's likely for global championship. Uh, that's fine. I mean, I think it's actually, uh, I don't know, she's not a winner. I think that's kind of a weird thing. Where, like, I think you would assume that everyone there would be winners. Considering, like, you had to be a winner of the global championship to qualify for an... Actually, I guess not, though, because, like, now they're including other people for that weren't winners, are they? So, okay, I don't know, whatever. I, I, I just find, like, the entire concept is kind of dumb at this point. Where I feel like it's kind of, like, nullified the initial concept. To where we're just like really just including like pretty much anybody, <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, what is this? Survivor Spencer posted. Uh, what is this? Uh, uh, my ex is threatening suicide if I don't get back with her. Well, that's definitely a uh, a good relationship he was in. And, uh, that's something. I don't, I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> like, I have literally no response. Um, who wins a Gabler Geo Cody final three? Cody. I don't even think that's a question. I, I, yeah, I think Cody can actually win. So, I mean. Because, like, the thing is also, it's like, as much as, like, Cody is getting, like, certain, like, negativity, it's like, it's still never in, like, a way that's, like, people don't respect him as a player. Where, like, Gabler and Geo are, like, people, like, not respecting uh, them as players. Well, like, Cody is more so they're talking about how he's, like, a threat because he's a wild card and that sort of stuff. Which, um... 
is not really like them talking as if they're not willing to vote for him, unlike the other situations. Who, uh, who's most likely from the season to pull a sugar? I mean, I'm thinking about Justine Struden, probably her, right? But um, who's the third boot? Neka? I don't know. Pro it's probably still Justine. Even like lot. I mean, I guess our Mariah. What am I doing here? Am I supposed to put it here? I feel like that. That's what made sense, but for some reason. Okay. Yeah. I get. I guess so. <laughs> Uh, I feel like Danny and Sarah are going to be massive outlet. I mean, like, do we know the full cast yet? I mean, I assume we don't know it yet, right? Because, um, I mean, I feel like I would have seen it if we had a full cast. But, uh, I don't know. It's like, there's supposed to be more USA people there, right? But, I mean, yeah, they do, uh, I'm really, I feel like there's going to be a lot of outlier. Like, it's going to be weird. Like, there's going to be fucking people from Argentina and... In like uh, UK and all, like it's gonna be like a whole bunch of like random people. Huh? So I feel like no matter what, it's gonna be uh, a whole bunch of outliers. What am I doing? Like, what does the game want me to do right now? Oh, am I just pulling it out just to go here? Okay, well then that's me being an idiot. Um, or Owen's chances? Um, I think he's still in the running, but uh, it's like him not getting that much content across like the last couple episodes is like not great but he's definitely not dead yet uh, it does seem like he's gonna get a big episode next week so we'll see how that goes Another crystal. but again like he was like pretty much invisible this episode huh. what now God damn it. Did that do anything? No. Oh. Um, uh, Challenge MTV production. I mean, yeah, like, I'm assuming they're just doing, like, a who's who of, like, all their shows at this point. That's kind of what they're going for. Boy, it just, again, it just feels like a bit of a mess. God damn it. Am I supposed to shoot it first? No, because yeah, I can't do that in time. Domi's going to challenge? Yeah, that'll be fun. Put both of them on, why not? Dom and Rich. I, I think Dom seems like a perfect, like, challenge USA sort of casting choice. Like, if they do USA 2, I feel like that's definitely, uh... Like a good uh, spot to bring her back. Well, a stealthy plan it is not. Now yeah, I, I was very surprised sure. Lindsay went. Even up to the like up to the point that we got the vote. Like I really like, was still not thinking uh, Lindsay was going home. Oh, yeah, like I'm very rarely surprised by a vote result. Like, by, and by that I mean like by the time like the final vote is read. That I'm like, so I, I, too far, I wasn't surprised by the time the final vote was read. But anyway, by the time like the vote starts, I should say, that I am, uh, that I'm surprised at the result. Like that doesn't happen that often. Um, especially for Survivor US, I should say. Uh, I'm trying to remember when was the last time. I think I was one time last season. But I don't know when that would be. There weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot. Maybe it was 41 that I'm thinking of then. Well, I mean, I know Tiffany, but um, even outside that, I feel like there's another one. But um, I just think, no, even Tiffany, I knew it was coming by the time the vote was happening. But anyway, again, like, I'm very rarely surprised in the way that I was today. I, I did not think Lindsay was going on. I thought it was all decoy. I thought it was, like, such an easy uh, geo boot. I mean, like, Jeff said that. However, I, I to me, that was, like, him just saying that about, like, every tribal. Like, to me, that was just, like, him just saying, like, a BS thing of, like, uh, like, the Australian survivor of, oh, a fan favorite's gonna go home. Or, like, I guess that's more so Amazing Race Australia. And then it's, like, just any random team. Like, it's more so just, like, a thing you say. More so than, like, you actually, like, it actually pertains to this one specific episode. 
because I, I think like in general like I don't think this was like that commercial was made for this specific episode. I think that was just like I think Jeff probably just recorded like a billion of commercials over like in a row and they're just airing them whenever they air them. It's so, like to me it's like that's not really a spoiler because I just don't think that was meant specifically for a single episode. Uh Brendan going home? I mean yeah, I'm Brendan vote in Ghost Island? Like, I think it was obvious at the time the votes were read. Like, at the time that, like, the idol was misplayed, then... Yeah. And even then, wasn't there setup of, like, Brendan being the one that they put the votes on? So I don't, I don't think that was the vote I was surprised by. Just so they considered it international showdown season, but they, but did they though? Again, like he, he says that, but like, it's in the way that like, well, obviously he can like they. It's like as if like, no, okay, we mentioned it one time, uh, and then realize, oh yeah, we're not doing that, and then like that's essentially what he meant. Because like that article like makes it seem like oh Jeff is like like that this is actually a practicality when like if you read the quotes, it's essentially him saying we're not doing this. <laughs> like he's essentially saying that like yeah we don't think. I like the uh, we don't think the casuals will care so we're not doing this is essentially what he's saying um yeah no chance it's happening oh, not what i meant to do but that's Ooh. fine too because he's he, what he essentially said is like um that we thought about it but um we haven't found a good way to to do it or whatever which is, like, because, like, we don't know if our audience would connect to it or something like that. And it's, like, that's essentially him saying we're not going to do it. <laughs> like, that's essentially him saying that, like, yeah, it was, like, a thought in our mind one time, but then we realize what's the point. And truly, what is the point? Like, there is no point for Survivor US to be doing it. Uh, it makes no sense from a business standpoint for Survivor US to go out of their way to do an international season of the show when it won't boast ratings at all. It literally would do nothing for them. Again, if it's, this is Australia or SA, where, like, it's not as big of a deal, then, like, sure. Especially because, like, in those countries, like, SA, they watch Australian Survivor and Survivor US. So it makes sense. Oh, that's cool. They're bringing these people that we've watched on TV already. Um, same, like, Australia to a degree as well. U.S. does not, like, most people that watch Survivor U.S. don't know what the fuck Australian Survivor and Survivor SA are. Like, it makes no sense for them to go out of their way to try to get these people from all these other shows um, when it has no benefit for themselves. Um, Boy. Yeah, that's the line. That we never found out a way to do it that we thought would be fun for our audience and still loyal. To, like, it's, it's essentially them saying, yeah, we're not going to do it. <laughs> that's essentially them saying we're not going to do it, but we're not going to say no because, like, we don't want to, like, completely rule it out or whatever. But, like, we're not doing it. Okay, I'm not paying attention to this. What, what did he say? <laughs> Retrograde lads. What? Of course. The riddle. Uh, thoughts on Noah's leg, uh... Wait, Nicole's... Wait, Noelle's leg lying on the side of the road after her moped accident? Um, that that was a thing? Boy. That's pretty oh. fucked. House. Venter. Sumo. Okay, so... The riddle. Winter is last. <laughs> there you go, brother. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. Wait, which one's wit? Okay, fuck off. <laughs> Feel for Survivor, yes? I, I, I wouldn't be uh, opposed to it as long as he's not the the one involved in the Meryl situation. Okay, so the leaf... What is the flower? I assume that's spring, then? So is the leaf autumn? Oh, I know. Summer is the sun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that, that makes sense then. Um, so this is... Okay, let's Boy. listen to it again. <laughs> uh, so it's made a video about why Reddit hates him? Well... Does he not no. know? What <laughs> no. Um, I just need quiet. Winter. Last. You sure you... Quiet. Winter what is this? Is uh, oh, this is the... So Banim, he's racist. <laughs> 
Um, yeah. Boy. I'm. What else? What are you expected? God damn! I, every single time I do this, I do. I like do it to listen to the first two, and I always fucking miss the first two. Uh, Oh, I love how they like, literally just fucking tell you. Winter is last. And autumn first. Actually, that's kind of funny. They actually, like, they're essentially like, yeah, you're such a fucking idiot, so we're literally just going to tell you the puzzle. Uh, and I already forgot what the other... Try that. House. House. Vetter. Vetter. Yep, that was definitely right. Winter. Spring. Summer. Okay. Autumn. But reversed. Oh, fuck off. Okay. First, winter, last. You're an Australian. Wait, you're on. Oh, Survivor Spencer. Okay. Uh, Discord. Well, good for you. That's right, right? Yeah, that's right already. Do it. House. Dance Field versus Tajin, Captain Season. I think I'm good. I, I don't think I need that. Oh, yeah, if it is, even if it's Tajin, but, um... Betrayus. Or, that if word. it is Tajin, well, whatever, you, you get the point. Um... Try it. Is that a thing? Paloma works, uh, with Kara K. So, uh... Keep writing. Good for her, I guess? I don't know. Is that is that good for? <laughs> Head. How is this possible? My guess, temporal magic, dangerous stuff. The high vanier. Uh, we don't know who is the one with the Meryl situation, but we know it's someone that was voted out after her, and she did mention that this person has no chance of winning the game, which makes me think that's who it is, but we don't know for sure. And it also stated that it was someone that was voted out after her. After so that, that means it's not Dino or Shane. So there's only three people it could be. So yeah, it's it's Tajin, Phil, Felix would be the three. Which like again, like I, I think like by that statement, it feels like it would be Tajin, but like, I have heard things that, like, other things make it seem like it's not Tajin. So, like, at that point, like, would it be Felix then? I don't know. But it feels weird considering, like, like they were together on, like, Island of Secrets. So, it's like, I don't know, you would think that they would have been, like, friends outside the show. So, it's kind of weird that, like, that happened. But I don't know. Back to writing before the floor collapses. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bother looking at Survivor Spencer's Discord. <laughs> uh, if I cast a battle of the bullies, <laughs> uh, oh, probably what like Aaron and Paloma would be the captains. Add in like, how would you do Paul? Who would who would be the representative for nineteen? I guess it would be Paul, right? Because he's like he's the or they're the like leaders of the group. Uh, I finished the Genius Season One rewatch. Uh, I finished it a while ago, actually, at this point. Finished that... When was that?
Okay. <laughs> We're back, right? Yep, there we go. All right, um, yeah, I don't know. Same thing happened yesterday. It seems like, I think it was literally at the exact same time, too. So I don't know what the fuck is happening. Um, I did do the speedrun stream last night where uh, the run is unofficial because the same thing happened at pretty much the exact same time. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, it, it was, like, pretty much the exact same time. Like, around, like, 12, 20-ish. Uh, so I don't know why that's happening because it, it's not my internet. My internet's up. Um, I don't know if this is like a, like it has to be a Twitch related thing. Um, but it seems weird that it's a Twitch thing. I don't know. He's got my internet never went down and like literally I just like stop stream, start stream again and it's like back right away. So I don't know, but whatever. Alright, uh, continue on, I guess. Uh, pick up Power Ranger from every season, I mean, that'll take a while. Most of them are red, the Red Rangers, though. Derek and Claire, better version of Cody and, uh, Jessica. Or Cal and Kayla, I mean, like, are they a better version? I mean, they're probably, like, around the same. I mean, they... They had like a good first leg, but like since then they've kind of been just pretty consistent. Uh, well, every season of Survivor was a captain season. Um, yeah, I mean that's a video idea. I'll be honest, I haven't thought about that one, so. Maybe for some point. You got banned from Survivor Spencer's uh, Discord? For using too many capital letters? Yeah, you really shouldn't be using capital letters. What are you going to do without getting all the, uh, the juicy details about Survivor Spencer? Uh, I remember hearing about the Travis video, but I don't think I ever watched it. Well, I think they talked about it on RHAP in, like, the cast, like, preview thing. But yeah, I don't think I ever, um, bothered watching it. I should have, did the stream not end? It didn't. Fuck, I probably could have kept the run official yesterday then if I did that. If I just like ended right away and started again. But whatever. Not that I think the run is still shit anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, please. Okay, can I, like, I fucking hit it please? Wait, why is this guy not getting hit? What? Is it because I'm too far? I'm so okay, whatever. That was great. Um, why Lewis and Michelle uh, when they technically tied? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's because their feet hit the ground first. Because, uh, like Amazing Race US doesn't like having ties. To where have they ever had a tie? I feel like if they did, it was like very early on, but I don't think they've ever officially had a tie. To where, like, I know, like, AU has done that in the past in Canada. To where, like, they're like, oh, you literally touch at the same time, so you're both tied or whatever. Like, I, I think US, they they care enough to, like, not tie it and determine it by who, like, whose feet hit the ground first. Okay. Okay, why isn't this guy die? Oh, it's because of this. Okay, I, I, I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> it's just me being an idiot. I'm not supposed to actually kill them. Supposed to do that. Uh, who from 41, 42, 43 would cast for heroes versus villains? Uh, I mean, Shan would be a villain, right? You did well. Ricard would probably be villain. Just having a little fun, you big Xander would probably be on heroes. Like, Evie would probably be a hero, right? Well, Seeing they're an underdog and everything push. by the end of it. Trust me. Uh, the Sean. What I casting Sean? I guess are we saying we're only using forty-one to forty-three? Because if that's the case, then that's like a lot of people from each season. <laughs> yeah, I watched the croc the, the crockpot video was definitely more important to watch than Travis's. Yeah, you know, why am I watching the, a video from the first boot of BB twenty-three when I could be watching the crockpot video? <laughs> 
Do not panic. Why would I panic? I have you. How strong 43? I'm probably Cassidy, right? Cassidy or Ellie. Or Justine. That's right. You know that. Bad Reese for heroes. I mean, is he a hero though? Didn't he get like more? I mean, I guess how do you determine that? Because like he got like negative content, but it wasn't like villainous content. It was more so like you're an idiot content. So it's like I, I, I guess that's not really a hero. I mean, it's not really a villain edit. Thing they did consider that a villain edit for Coach. So I don't know. Maybe he would be a a villain. The chisel tip. It is funny actually when you think like Coach is considered a villain. That. Which, like, I guess it is because, like, people didn't like him, but, um... And, like, he is hypocritical and stuff, but, like, he does try to play the game in a heroic way. Uh... Okay, can... No? Oh, uh, okay, cool. Oh yeah, Coach is definitely one of the best casting choices ever. Um, too bad. I think Cody's getting up there too. That's one of like, the best casting choices. To where, I mean, like, I guess we're, we're going to see like how his run ends. But based on his start at least. He's like by far the biggest character of the season. I believe he has like the most confessionals by like 10 or so. Like it's probably like a decent Mother chunk. Said the Aesir was the worst of gods, and Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father. My team bring Lin Spillman back? No, no I, I'm fine without Lin Spillman. Will Sindri be okay? I'll never even see him. Like I think, like I think the casting is like the strongest it's ever been. Post Lin Spillman. Uh, I mean, like David vs Goliath was good. Um. But, like, you had Ghost Island, like, right before it. <laughs> uh, like, HHH is kind of mixed. Um, but, like, since then, I think you've had, like, all, like, really top-tier casts. Like, uh, again, like, IOI, with the exception of Dan Spilo, is, like, an all-time great cast. The problem is that you do have one person really, really dragging it down. I, uh, okay, cool. Spaghetti's the most mid food ever. Yeah, I, I, spaghetti's like a food that like I I only feel like eating like probably like once a year. If memory serves, the Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice. Is Sheriff from Dogeji the most forgettable survivor ever? He's definitely up there. Uh, I think Candace also from Dungeon Chief is forgettable. Which is like weird because like she's not even like she's actually like a decent character on the show. I just feel like like for some reason she's like does not stand the test of time. To where like I feel like there's like despite her like getting like a decent amount of content, it's like you just don't really remember her for some reason. I never liked Alfredo at all, personally. Like, I would much rather have spaghetti than Alfredo, but I don't really like either. I've never been big into pasta. Uh, what if Owen's advantage is the idle nullifier? Um, why? Can we not? <laughs> I don't... Like, I don't nullifier is literally the worst twist. Like, worst advantage, I should say, in Survivor history. Where it's like the most like offensively bad one. Where like obviously you have like things like the reward steal and stuff like that that like don't fucking matter. Um, but like there's literally like nothing good that can come from the Iron Nullifier. Like the like obviously like it played out in like the best possible way, Dave vs Goliath. But even then, that's still like in an underwhelming way. Oh. Wrong button. <laughs> Yeah, like, I don't get why they keep on putting the Iron Nullifier in. Like, 
Okay, I'll, I'll, Power Ranger thing is like, I just feel like it takes too long to run through everything. But again, it's mostly, like, for most seasons, it's the Red Ranger. Like, I think literally for, like, outside of, like, Mighty Morphin... No, anyway, yeah, like, most seasons it would be the Red Ranger. With, like, very few exceptions. Oh. He has knowledge of power. Uh, that would, I mean, 100% would bring him back, right? Like, I feel like, yeah, they definitely bring back knowledge of power, even though, again, they shouldn't, but I'm sure they will. It's so funny how, like, knowledge of power has played out twice in the best possible way so far, in both of them by, like, complete accident. Can I climb? Uh, what individual juror, um, jurors vote towards the finalist where I say he's the most bitter? Uh, like Rupert against Russell? Probably. I mean, like, in terms of, like, it being, like, the most anti... Actually, I don't know. I mean, either way, it's, like... I don't think it really matters. Like... I, mean, I guess, like, because, like, I think what... Like, because to me, bitter just means, like, the person who is the most voting against someone instead of for, where I think, like, most people look at bitter as in, like, the most, like, unjustified. When it's, like... Again, like, pretty much every vote is justified because that's the point of the game. Um, I'll see you later, biggest party. Um, okay, Jungle Fury, I would say, is, like, one of those where it's not the Red Ranger. It would be RJ in Jungle Fury. But I, I think, like, most other seasons, it would be the Red Ranger. Uh, like, Mighty Morphin, it would probably be Tommy. But, like, I just don't really care too much, really. Um, especially about season one. But, like, again, Zeo, it's, like, Adam or Tommy, probably. Um, and then you get to, like... Uh, Turbo, like, especially after the Switch, um, it's, it's TJ. In Space, it's Andros. It's Leo in Lost Galaxy. It's Carter in Lightspeed Rescue. It's Wes in Time Force. Um, who the fuck cares in Wild Force? Um, like, I guess it's fucking Cole just because he's the only one that gets any complexity there. Um... Shane or, or Cam and Ninja Storm. No. Uh, probably Kira and Dino Thunder. This fight is my boy. Go. Then what? Jack and SPD. And where do you think you're Who the fuck cares about Mystic Four? They all suck. <laughs> um, Operation Overdrive. They all suck. Um, we got RJ and Jungle Fury. I hate this fight, by the way. Uh, RPN. Who would it be in RPN? I don't know who it would be. Probably not Scott. How's Jay doing on the challenge? I mean, like, I he's not out yet. But then again, again I can know his final result. But well, you only care about Jay. You don't care about Michelle Fitzgerald. Yeah, I've talked about the Mario movie trailer like three times already. Yeah, I've watched it. I wait. I just was, I died. I died that early in the fight. I didn't pay attention. Uh, that's great. Uh, but yeah, I don't care about it. I'm not gonna watch the movie. What the fuck? Why are they... Okay, can they, like... How, what's the dodge button again? It's... Okay, it's circle. Uh, do I think the Amazing Race US is a superior... 
You mean like is the superior version to the international versions? Yes. Um, I'm just gonna let myself die. I died way too early there. Why am I dying so early at this fight? Like I'm on the easiest difficulty, right? The small one's yours, brother. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, yeah, I haven't used ice really. I completely forgot like to use all the rune attacks and everything. Okay, well, cool. I mean, I really like don't care at all about the the Mario movie. Oh, yeah, I did hear it was Canadian Thanksgiving, so that's something. But to be honest, I don't even care about American Thanksgiving, let alone Canadian Thanksgiving. Like, Thanksgiving is like literally my least favorite holiday. Because it's like one that you're like obligated to celebrate, and also it's like a really shit holiday that like I get personally get like nothing from. Uh, it's like I spend time with family that I don't really want to spend time with. Um, I eat food that I don't even like. Um, well, like I get nothing out of Thanksgiving. Okay, what the fuck? Again, why am I getting like injured so quickly here? It's like why well, was like the entire game like fine, and all of a sudden like here I'm like getting like one hit killed. Like what the fuck? Um, chance of a re-return near zero. I think Josh is more likely. The small one's yours, brother. Don't tell me what to do. Um, but yeah, like from what I understand, Reed has never been called for a returning. Uh, returning season well Josh has been at least twice so and also like even just from the edit of the season you can tell they like Josh a lot more than Reed I don't like turkey at all Oh, because you swapped out for brisket. I mean, I don't even like brisket that much either. <laughs> I will triple you. You need to approach the light of You've got some father. It's kind of annoying to actually have to pay attention to this fight. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I think that's the checkpoint, right? Don't like brisket? Not really. Stay behind me, boy. Why do you hunt us? What does I, mean, I don't like a lot of foods. I, I'm essentially like Peter Brown. Shut up! Don't call me that! Not actually to the point where like I get sick over like eating other sort of foods, but, like, I, I could eat, like, the same, like, five to ten foods, probably, for the rest of my life, and I'll be perfectly fine. Oh, fuck. All right. Yeah, that's cool. Um. Yeah, I like cornbread. Cornbread's fine. Uh... I don't think what I've ever had cornbread want? at Thanksgiving, though. No, 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 don't care. I, just do, I can't even think of the last time I've actually had cornbread, now that I think about it. Shut up. Yeah, cornbread's fine, though. Oh. Okay, at least I blocked that one. Uh, yeah, episode three is really shit. Uh, of scene, season one. Of the genius. Uh, like it, it's one where like there's n literally no intrigue going on where like from like not even the halfway point in the episode you already know that um okay well that's great uh you already know that um that like the majority alliance is like 
game the game, and then also they spoil in the fa flash forward that uh, that Sung Yu's going to elimination. So they literally get rid of that uh, that intrigue too, where like they could have made it like, oh my god, is Gura or Sangman going to elimination? But like, nope, they they spoil that. Um, And then also you have fucking tactical Ute Nori at the end that goes on for fucking ever in that episode in particular. Um, it's it's really like, like yeah, it's still the genius, so it's still fine in the grand scheme of things. But like, it's definitely like by far the worst episode of the series. I mean, too fair. There's probably like other ones that like are like around the same ballpark, but uh, I think of season one, it definitely like, stands out as like one that's like this is so bad. What country do I want Survivor to be in that doesn't have that doesn't have it yet? Um, none really. I'm kind of fine with the amount of Survivor that we have now. Actually, too much. I think we probably sell too much. Um, like I don't need it. Like yeah, I've said this before. Like I'll be fine if Australian Survivor gets canceled. Like keep Survivor US, keep Survivor SA, and I think I'm good. Uh, I don't need all this Survivor. Like, if you have, um, like, Survivor US on the spring and fall, and then, like, Survivor SA in the summer, that's good. Um, don't need any more. The fact that we also get, like, uh, at least one episode of, uh, or one season of Australian Survivor early in the year, and then now we're getting Survivor UK, it's like, yeah, that's a lot of Survivor. Okay, I'm fucked this up. Oh, wow, that actually worked. Okay, that was dumb. Survivor Canada, I mean, like, Oh, is there a point anymore? Considering they're allowing Canadians on the US. But also it's like obviously we know they're not going to. Obviously that's the point of them opening slots for Canada in the US version. But yeah, I'm I'm fine with like like BB Can being the like Canadian reality show that that uh no I don't know what the right term is but anyway that like uh takes like a US format Oof. Oh, this fight really fucking goes on forever. Again, like, I don't get why there's, like, such a difficulty spike here. Like, what the fuck? Again, I'm playing on, like, the easiest difficulty with, like, um, on New Game Plus. It's like, why is this fight actually still difficult? When it's, like, literally just a random fight. Like, if it was the Valkyrie fight or something, then, like, fine. fucking finish this fight already. Wait, did he just fucking shoot the wrong guy? Like, fuck off. Ah. No, shoot the fucking guy in front of me, please. I guess I should put lock on. I guess that's probably my own fault. How is this guy not dead yet? There we go. Thank you. What the fuck? Is Jungwin the worst uh, genius player? No. I think she's the, probably the worst returning player. But she's definitely not the worst genius player. It is funny though that she like is on two seasons and still never wins a, uh, a main match the entire time. And like she makes it to like what the halfway point. Um, 
like she essentially plays like a full season's worth um, of of the season or the show whatever, of a, of a season of the Gene Blabber. Um, yeah, like still doesn't win a main match the entire time. Yeah, banned again for using like in how short of a period. <laughs> Sickness. Fever has returned. No. Uh, but yeah, that video is coming out at some point. The genius player ranking. Uh, I bumped it up a little bit to where it's it's now in February. <laughs> it got bumped to to April earlier, um, but. I, I actually rewatched it the other, like, a few weeks ago, and it's actually, like, more outdated than I thought it was. Um, but I'm, I'm still going to leave it as is. It's like, who fucking cares? But again, it's so funny. Like, in the video, I explicitly say, um, uh, like, oh, for whenever I get around to doing a Survivor Worst Player of All Time video, uh, over there will be a first boot. Well, here, it's not a first boot. Like, it's like, yeah, that's uh, that has an H. Great. <laughs> And there's like another thing I said in it that hasn't aged well, but it's like whatever. Ban twice in 20 minutes? That's uh, that's kind of a lot. Thoughts on the field of nursing in terms of what? It's a job that people do. It's not a job that I would ever do. But I don't, some people want to do it. It's uh, good on them. Of this on all the AW season rank in terms of what? Like um like if I were to add So what was that? That was AW eleven, right? Was why I did it. Which I don't know if A is A W eleven still number one. I think the obviously that was that was before the Drew stuff. Which makes that video kind of funny considering how much I talk about <laughs> how great Drew is. <laughs> um but yeah 12 like it's pretty low uh i yeah i mean like obviously it's a very different season though but um i i would assume it's like towards the bottom if not the very bottom uh, i had a w1 at the bottom right I, I, and it's weird too with the a w season ranking because like i tried so hard to be like unbiased in it because like realistically like if if i'm like doing like what are actually my favorite seasons like aw3 is probably number one um i think there was like the season that i would be the most likely to rewatch and enjoy the most on the rewatch like three like three and two would be the top two probably um But it's also like I recognize that they're not actually the best seasons of the show. But yeah, like 12 would be towards the bottom. Um, thir I think 13 and 14 would both be like pretty close to each other. I feel like they're like, oh, I just backtracked, didn't I? Um, but anyway, they're pretty much the, like very similar style of seasons. I probably enjoyed. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. I don't know actually which one I enjoyed more. I feel like like 14 stands out more, but obviously that's because it just happened. <laughs> um, but I, I think they're both like kind of middle tier seasons. So I think they're above like the ANW like six, probably like. I don't remember what else was there. Like, was nine and eight, nine, ten? They were all kind of all lumped together, right? I think like thirteen and fourteen is like kind of in line with those. So they're all kind of like right in the middle. Yeah, I don't want. To... Okay, it has to be here, right? Oh, die! I remember now. There's the thing to the side, right? I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. Um, yeah, Lindsay's the worst player of the season. Up. Oh, fuck. 
Yeah, I think this was, like, I think it's on par with episodes one and two. Like, for me, episode three was, like, by far the worst episode of the season. Um, for Survivor 4 3, I'm talking about. Um, like, one and two were both good episodes. I thought this was kind of in line with that. Uh, I think the vote off, this was the best vote off of the season. Like, for sure. Um, but I think, like, when we're talking about the episode as a whole, I think it's, like, probably on par with the other ones. What makes Lindsay the worst player? I mean, the fact that she blew up her own game. Uh, and, like, again, I think when you... I think her and, like, Justine are kind of on the same level. But I think, like, the difference there is that Justine kind of gets screwed over by a twist of Dwight losing his vote. To where at that point it would at least be a tie to where, like, maybe Jesse would be like, okay, fuck it, I guess I have to go the other way. Where it's like, Lindsay is, like just like completely blows up her game when she was like completely safe before that. What's my religious status? Uh atheist. There's a path to the exit on the other side. Uh like atheist slash agnostic. Like I think definitely like as uh agnostic for a while and then I think at this point I'm probably more so leaning atheist. Okay, what like, I, I know what I'm... How do you do it? Can you climb that? No, right? Because I think it's you, you get Atreus to do something, right? Cliff Hogg just released episode 4 Cliff Nuts for Survivor. Well, good for him. I didn't even know he was doing it. <laughs> Oh, he just pushes that down. Okay. Uh, 